Do you get pain in the arch of your foot that won't go away despite stretching your calves, wearing orthotics, and otherwise treating it like plantar fasciitis? If you've got foot arch pain that won't go away and you've been treating it like plantar fasciitis, it's time to start considering, is it really plantar fasciitis? Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you what other things besides plantar fasciitis can cause pain in the arch of your foot and what you can do to figure out what's wrong and get that pain to go away. Now, if you find this video helpful, give it a like or thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. So first of all, what are some things that can cause pain in the arch of your foot? Well, plantar fasciitis is one thing that can cause pain there, but there are a number of other different problems. It can come from joints, it can come from muscles, it can come from nerves, and all of those have slightly different nuances as far as how you treat them. So the first step is just figuring out where the pain is actually coming from. So one really common cause of pain in the arch of the foot is actually not in the foot at all. Uh, your calf muscles have areas where they can form knots. You may feel like a stiff or tender area, and those knots are called trigger points. And some of the trigger points in your calf muscles can actually refer pain down to the arch of your foot and mimic the symptoms of plantar fasciitis. Now, many people stretch their calves for plantar fasciitis. And like I said, if you've been stretching your calves and you haven't gotten relief from that foot pain, there are a couple other things you can try. First of all, most people stretch their calves wrong. If you've been putting your foot up against a wall or hanging off the edge of a step or doing a runner stretch up against the wall, chances are you may have not been getting the area of the calf that has that trigger point that causes the pain in the arch of your foot. Now I've got a whole other video that shows you how to do that and I'll link to it. But additionally, in addition to doing some calf stretches, you can also do other treatments that help. Manual trigger point therapy, where you find that sore tender knot and kind of squeeze on it and put pressure on it, or having someone else who's trained in finding those trigger points, like we are at More For Life, can help with that. Trigger point dry needling goes a step further where you actually take a needle, like an acupuncture type needle, and put it in that trigger point. And what it does is it makes the muscle relax. And it can give you some quick, sometimes even almost instant relief from pain on the arch of your foot. So that's one other thing besides plantar fasciitis that can cause pain in the arch of your foot is trigger points in the calf muscles. Now, in addition, there are joints and ligaments in your foot. And if you sprain a joint in your foot, or if you fracture a bone, get like a, a stress fracture that may not show up on x-ray right away. Sometimes those are referred to as Liz Franck injuries or Liz Franck back fractures. And unfortunately, those Liz Franck injuries go undiagnosed for a long time, sometimes a year plus before you get the right diagnosis. Now, the good news is those are usually traumatic injuries. If you did it, you probably knew it right away. It often comes from falling on a pointed toe. So if you didn't do that, you can pretty much rule that out as a cause. But if you did have a fall on the toe, that would be a good thing to get checked out because your foot's probably not going to get better if you don't find out if that's, if that's the cause. Now, thirdly, nerve problems can be another really commonly underrecognized cause of foot pain. And a lot of that will come from the nerves that run right under the inside of the ankle bone. Sometimes that's referred to as tarsal tunnel syndrome, but there's a nerve that runs down the back of your leg, actually through the calf muscles, and it can get pinched in the calf muscles if they're too stiff. It can also get pinched under the ankle if you flatten your foot or pronate your foot too much when you're walking. And that irritation of the nerve at the ankle is referred to as tarsal tunnel syndrome. Now that tibial nerve that runs through your tarsal tunnel it branches into a couple of different nerves that run to the inner side of your arch, the outer side of your arch, and to your heel. And all of those are common areas where people experience symptoms of plantar fasciitis. So again, if you've been treating your foot like it has plantar fasciitis and you're not getting relief, maybe it's time to start looking somewhere else. And that nerve in the ankle can be another cause of it. And finally, you can actually get foot pain that's referred from your back. Now, most commonly, you'll feel this in other places as well. You may think I have back pain and plantar fasciitis, or I have sciatica and plantar fasciitis, but sometimes people don't link the two of them. 
the, the nerve roots anywhere from the L4 nerve root to the S1 nerve root in your lower back can actually be a cause of foot pain. Now, sometimes people will have symptoms of numbness and tingling when they have a nerve injury, but sometimes it'll just present as like sort of a burning pain. And that brings up another point that if you have foot pain on both sides, especially if it's a, a burning pain and it's kind of symmetrical on both feet, another thing to consider is your general nerve health. If you've got diabetes, you may want to check your blood sugar and find out if you're developing diabetic neuropathy, which is where the nerve health and the circulation to the nerves in your feet um, gets poorer and it can cause a lot of problems from sensory problems, balance problems, to even sometimes um, you know, stepping on things and getting ulcers because you don't have great feeling in your feet. So those are some different things that can cause pain in the arch of your foot. So what do you do to get rid of the pain in the arch of your foot if you already tried orthotics, you've already tried calf stretching? Well, first of all, if you're doing calf stretching, make sure you check out that other video on how to stretch your calves correctly because I would say Probably 90% of the people that I see with foot pain, if not more than that, do their calf stretches incorrectly. The other thing with orthotics is making sure that you have the correct orthotics. That if you're just wearing an off-the-shelf orthotic, maybe you need a custom. Or if you've been through two or three or four or more pairs of custom orthotics and you feel like they're too hard, they just irritate your feet and it feels worse, so you just take them out and you try another pair and that doesn't work either. The other thing to consider is your foot type that people who have a truly flat foot, like it's a pancake, you pick it up, you look at it, there's no arch at all at any time of the day. Those are the people who kind of need some structure, a little bit more firmer of an orthotic. But if you have kind of a normal to high arch when you're just looking at it like this, but it flattens out when you put weight on it, chances are you may need something just a little softer, a little more cushioned to fill that gap between the ground and your arch so that you don't overpronate and step on the ligaments on the bottom of your foot so that you the bones in your foot don't collapse if you've got a structural problem with your arch so that you're not stepping on those nerves over and over that run through your tarsal tunnel and so that you're not causing repeated twisting at your lower back which can aggravate any symptoms that you might have that are being referred from there um, so those are some other things is making sure that you have the correct type of orthotics and finally just controlling your pronation when you walk is another a helpful thing to do for just about any type of foot pain. Now, pronation, if you're not familiar with that term, it means the flattening of your foot as you go to bear weight on it. And pronation has kind of gotten a bad rap. It's actually a good thing. You need to pronate in order to absorb weight. It's kind of like a shock absorber when your foot hits the ground so that you don't send all the forces up into your knee or your hip or your lower back. So pronation is a good thing, but when you pronate too much, too fast, too long, then you can start to develop foot pain or ankle pain or knee pain or hip pain. So controlling your pronation is good. Now, if you have a really high arch foot, you also may not get enough pronation. And in that case, you don't absorb the shock and it can cause heel pain, which is a common symptom of plantar fasciitis, or it can also transmit forces up into your knee joint, potentially causing knee arthritis or hip arthritis if it goes up even higher. Now, if you need some more help for your foot pain and you can't figure out what's wrong and you can't figure out how to make it go away, we'd be happy to help here at More for Life. Just get in touch with us. I'll put a link here below this video and you click on that link and we'll get in touch with you and we'll help you figure out what's wrong with your feet. What is the root cause? What are the things that you can do to get it to go away without needing repeated injections, without having to rely on pain medications, and then how long it'll take. So again, just click the link below this video to get in touch with us. And hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like or thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks and have a great day.